Welcome back. 1999 GMC Sierra 5.3 liter, 403,000 miles on it. PO420, PO430, catalyst low efficiency codes. Um, Going to take you through, look at a little bit of scan data. Pretty sure this needs cats. Um, I've looked at the scan data once already. No exhaust leaks that I could find. Uh, so it looks like we're going to do cats in this. The downstream sensors are on the left. Upstreams are on the right. You can see that bank two particularly oscillating a lot. Bank one doesn't look great. I've got codes on both sides. That bank two looks really should not be moving like that. Now I'm up around 2,000 RPMs. I'm going to go back to idle here. And you'll see that they're going to they're going to calm down, but as soon as you put a load on it, they start switching back and forth. And that's that's you know pretty much a classic sign of uh, bad cats and at 400,000 miles original cats. It's not surprising. We're looking up at the connection to the exhaust manifold on the passenger side. Uh, that one has to be unbolted, and then of course. Uh, the one up in here, which is hard for you to see, but both sides basically I have to unbolt them from the exhaust manifold. And we're going to go to the back, uh, further back, and undo the uh, connection to the rear part of the exhaust system. There it is. Unhooked my O2 sensors, broke both of the bolts to the back here. Don't really care, I just put new bolts in. Front's, front's really more what I'm concerned with getting the flange out. Uh, they came out really well, without any issues. Uh, we're going to take my O2 sensors out, transfer them over. Just be careful with them. Uh, when you put it back in, don't, don't bang them into stuff. They, this thing does slide right out of there without having to take the cross member out. Um, you can just drop the front down and slide it right out. There are new cats. One piece, obviously. Um, I've got the, the O2 sensors out of the old one. I'm going to leave them out until I get this back in. There's less chance of hitting one of them and causing damage. Uh, I did put high temp anti-season on the threads for the O2 sensors, so I'm just going to slide under here. Put this back in place, and then we'll uh, put the O2 sensors back in. I'll try to show you a little bit. There's the new, new exhaust here, catalytic converters. It's kind of hard to show it to you. I really didn't show you much in this because without a lift, it's almost impossible to shoot, shoot anything in here. Uh, I don't even know how this is going to turn out because I can't see what you're seeing, but there's the driver's side. Go over here, uh, the passenger side. Of course, I had one stud. That guy right up there had to give me a hard time. I'm going to thread chaser on him. Got him straightened out. Okay. Don't get freaked out by moving around too much. You look at the min and the max and where it's living. 773 to 812, 582 to 733, looks pretty good. A whole lot better than it did before. My upstreams are oscillating that they should. Looks much, much better than it did. We're right up in the 750, 800 range. That's where I want to see him stay. It was all over the place before. Much, much better. Well, that's it for the 1999 GMC Sierra 5.3 liter. PO 420 and 430 codes, uh, tough to show it. I don't have a lift, like most people don't have lifts. So I'm under the car, there's just no room. Uh, one thing I will say, um, I left the O2 sensors off because I didn't want to take a chance of banging them around. Slide the exhaust under the car, get it uh, situated about where it needs to be, put your O2 sensors in, before you bolt everything up, it's just a lot easier. Just to have to be a little careful that you don't bang them around when you're putting it up and finalizing the placement. I had one stud on the exhaust manifold on the driver's side that didn't want to behave, as, as always. Uh, came off no problem, didn't want to go back on. I had to run a thread chaser on it. I got it, I got it straightened out. Everything looks good. Uh, test drove the car. Uh, all, the ready no, readiness. all the readiness monitors passed. Um, O2 sensors, cat. You know, catalyst efficiency, all passed. So, no codes, definitely fixed the issue. Not surprising with 402,000 miles. You need to do cats on your 
GMC Sierra, Silverado, Suburban, 5.3, you know, late 90s, early 2000s, mid 2000s. I hope this helps you out. If you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.